a decade ago a macabre saga of perverse rituals and teen satanism unfolded in the provincial township of Yaroslavl, russia an unholy sect of eight brutalized and butchered four unsuspecting youngsters in 2006 15 year old konstantin baranov harboring a twisted fascination with the dark arts established his own insidious sect and sought rites of initiation from the cavernous depths of the internet the chosen ritual, slay a cat or a dog and paint the new cult members with the creature's lifeblood. Originally monikered as Antichrist, the sinister cabal later adopted the name The Word Bearers. As the year 2007 rolled on, the sect burgeoned with the addition of 17-year-old Nikolai Ogolobiak and a couple of peers from the neighboring Rybinsk city. This malefic fraternity shrouded in eerie pseudonyms and their fascination with malevolent rituals established their unholy sanctuary in a clear wood of Krasnoperkovsky district. In this ghastly circle adorned with an inverted cross, the neophytes committed their first act of desecration. They toppled over a dozen tombstones and crosses, believing it expressed reverence to their dark deity. It was in the summer of 2008 that the Yaroslavl Satanists took a pivotal turn lured by the intoxicating promise of new initiates. An elaborate ploy was concocted to bait unsuspecting victims, and without an inkling of the grisly fate awaiting them, 15-year-old Olya Pukova, 16-year-olds Anya Mikhailova, Andrei Sorokin, and Varya Kuzmina walked into the nefarious trap. In their unholy sanctuary, beneath the shadow of the inverted cross, a brutal bloodbath unfolded. The girls were forced to get drunk and brutally murdered in a grotesque ceremony, their bodies decapitated with machete knives and littered with more than 50 stab and chopped wounds. The teenagers proceeded to grotesquely mutilate the bodies, even partaking in cannibalistic rituals by the bonfire, as they dismembered the corpses, incinerated their clothes, and stole their possessions. The eerie ceremony didn't end with the gruesome massacre. The teenagers indulged in a grotesque photo shoot with the decapitated heads of their victims. The new initiate, Ksenia Kovaleva, was then welcomed into the Macabre Brotherhood through a ritual of bathing in the victim's blood. In similar chilling fashion, on June 29th, the young couple Andrei Sorokin and Varya Kuzmina were mercilessly slaughtered. Again, the grisly rituals were repeated. Despite reigning in terror under the veil of complicit silence initially, the disappearances were reported early July and a criminal case was opened. The thrill of the hunt had disintegrated into a bone-chilling realization of their sadistic deeds, becoming public knowledge. They were convicted rapidly, their fearsome camaraderie crumbling into a finger-pointing blame game, each attempting to minimize their brutal part in the horrific acts. In spite of the inhumanity of their crimes, the law underlined that if you are a minor, then the punishment cannot exceed 10 years. This led to a wave of discontent among the prosecution and the bereaved parents who unanimously felt that the lenient sentences did not reciprocate the gravitas of their monstrous acts. In the aftermath, none of the perpetrators showcased any signs of repentance. Makovkin, known as Dr. Goth, one of the main culprits, was diagnosed with schizophrenia but there were no consequences to his actions. He regained his freedom in 2011 after a stint in a psychiatric hospital. It's been a decade, and almost all the participants in this sadistic ritual have walked free from prison, with some fighting for Putin in Ukraine. This has instigated a sense of foreboding alarm across Russia, fearing the potential return of pardoned criminal veterans, some of whom have already spilled innocent blood post their release. The tragic tale of the Yaroslavl Satanists is not just a criminal case, but a grim reminder of how the darkest recesses of the human psyche can distort reality and evolve into a macabre ballet of depravity and violence.